Hello everyone, my name is Wendy. In this video, we will look at how to create basic shapes, such as squares, rectangles, and oval shapes using DaVinci Resolve. Let's start by creating a rectangle shape to outline the top part of this video clip. Come over to the effects library in the top left corner and in the toolbox, select the titles category. Hover the cursor over the basic title, then drag the title to the track above the clip on the timeline. To be able to edit the controls for the text template, select the template and send to the playhead above it. Come over to the inspector page. First, delete the default sample text. Then scroll down to the background settings. Let's select the colour for the outline first. Click on the colour box to open the colour picker. You can choose a basic colour. Select your own colour or type in an HTML value. I'll use a basic yellow, then press OK. Now let's adjust the outline width. Just move the slider along. We still can't see anything yet until we set a value in the height. So let's just move the slider along and see what the rectangular shape looks like. This is a great starting point. Let's remove the background colour first. To do this, let's have a look at the opacity and decrease the value to zero. Let's have a look at the controls for moving this object. When we change the center X value, the object will move left and right. And when we change the center Y value, the object will move up and down. Okay, so now I'm going to position the rectangle around the section of the video clip that I want to grab the viewer's attention to. And I'll fine tweak the size by adjusting the values in the width and the height of the object. When you're happy with the position and the size, we can look at the corner radius. With a value of zero, there's no round corner. And with a high value, we can create an oval shape. We can add a little more style to the clip by adding a cross dissolve transition. This will create a fade in effect. Come over to the video transitions category and select cross dissolve. Drag it to the text template. We need to add one more transition for the opposite side. We can also do this by hovering over the text template and when a small clip icon appears, right click and from the menu you can select the duration of the cross dissolve transition. I'll select 24 frames. Select the transition on the left side, then come over to the transitions controls. Go to ease none and we'll switch to ease in and this will create a smooth fade in effect. Let's repeat these steps for the right hand side. Select the right transition, come over and this time we're going to change to Ease Out. Ok we're finished. Let's place the time head before the clip and play the animation. You can adjust the length of the clip simply by selecting the beginning or the end of the clip and dragging to add or remove frames. We can reuse the title and place it on a different location on the timeline, then change the settings to create a different shape. Select the template and the transitions. Right click and from the menu select copy. Navigate to where you want to place it. Click on the timeline so the time head moves to this point. Then right click and from the menu select paste. Select the text template, then come into the settings. Select the video. We can reset the values for everything and we can change the color. I'll reset the values for the center X and Y and reposition the object. Then I'll change the color. This time I think I'll select a blue. I'll adjust the corner radius to create an oval shape. We'll wrap up here. Thank you for watching this video on how to create basic shapes in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you found it helpful and I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy.